We have sold our house. Finley, are you so excited? We're moving to the country, moving to the country. Woo, yeah! yeah. All right, so lots of things to talk about, Finn. First thing is we sold our house. The second thing is today is my birthday. Today I turned 36 years old. And all of the special moments of my life, like getting married and having each of our children, far more important than this. But with this birthday, we are right in the thick of selling our house. Actually, take that back. We have sold our house. So that means that we're in the thick of actually packing up and moving. This is the first time we've ever been able to get out of the option period. The option period for here in Texas is a buyer has like uh, eight to 10 days in order to do all the inspections and they can back out for any reason. They give you a small amount of money and then they can back out at any time. We've never gotten out of that option period whenever we try to sell our house in the fall. We're out, they, none of us, neither of us can back out. We are contractually obligated that this house sale is going through. So we are set to close. We are set to close May 31st. Can you see that? Sign papers, moving day. May 31st, we're closing on this house. But since it is my birthday, I want to do something special for me. And one of the things that I wanna do is I am tired of doing all of these lost episodes. So I wanna get everything caught up. So today I'm releasing a mega vlog to catch you up on everything. This is how we sold our house. Okay, so the most recent video that you saw time-wise was Kelly and I releasing the video that we sold our house before it went on the market. We're not listing our house today because we have a contract for our house before it ever hit the market. And then after that, a couple of people said, hey, I would really like you to share your experience with how you actually sell a house. Like, what are the things that you're gonna see? So what are some of the details that you're gonna experience about selling a suburban type home? So, do you really want to know that? Someone down in the comments said that they want us to show more of what we're doing to sell our house. I thought that that was kind of boring. That's why we didn't show it the first two times. We are under contract, so now we're getting ready for inspection. So I wanna show you what the number one place that I go to when I'm trying to get the house ready to sell. Yeah, that's right, Home Depot. All right, so that's basically what you do. Whenever you're trying to sell a house, you go to Home Depot all the time. All right, then after you do something like this, you always wanna run the water before you put sprinkler head back on because it'll get like dirt and everything clogged in your sprinkler head. No. Oh no! So look at this. There's another crack. So that's flowing. That is not good. So I got, oh there it is. Yep. See that guy? Oh I see that. See that crack right there? I didn't film that part. It was too dark but I did repair it. It's good to go. Fixed. And then here I am again. It's the next morning, and I'm going back to Home Depot again. Grandson to take care of it for him, but the younger generation wasn't doing it. The 30 and 40 somethings, you know, they're kids that live a couple miles away. A lot of people never left. Let's go see what Kelly's doing. 
Okay, so yeah. what are you doing for us to help us sell the house? My grand... Or, or actually just get ready because we've already sold yeah. the house. My grand contribution is painting this wall. The entire wall. Well, we had some touch-ups and the paint just didn't match. I don't think you can ever actually really match the paint. At least every time... Well, if you have the exact same paint. Yeah, like if you have the name. But yeah. even so, I think... The code. Like, for example, even if we had the same code on this wall... It's been at least seven years since the wall was painted. True. So the wear and tear on just yeah. sunlight coming in or dirt or whatever. Well, that's where they say if you can get a good um, like chip Sample of it. Can, but I've yeah. never been able to do that. So selling a house is really a lot of tiny, you know, fixer-upper stuff. It's, it's very simple. What we did the first time is we just said, hey, we'll just negotiate through that stuff. We're not, we don't really feel like fixing up these tiny things. We're gonna do the big things, but that was a bad idea because when a home inspector comes, they are going to ding you for every single tiny thing. And that just gives the buyer more and more ammo to negotiate and to knock that price down over and over and over again. This is a toilet. And then this are these little bolts here. And so they come with these caps so that, you know, the bolts are covered. Then later that night, Kelly and I had kind of a shed to house conversion design layout planning date night. Also, my contacts were like really jacked up and so I'm wearing glasses. This is the original sketch layout of our tiny house. We have realized. We're revamping. We drew this whenever our children were a foot shorter and there was only three of them. We know on either side, we're gonna want a bedroom. So we want a door there. I like the double doors, do I, you? Sure, of course I, I do. I like the double doors. So we have a. Let's just start over again. Because if you're trying to figure out why we did things. I liked it with the kitchen to the right as you walked in. A dining, like just some kind of cozy space. Right. So this is what I'm drawing right now. This is terrible. Super pretty, babe. Still, um, I we're gonna glue <laughs> the thing. Copy and paste, babe. It's the little refrigerator. <laughs> so little. Well, once we put the fridge in, it kind of dominates. The counter would basically, you'd have this much counter space between this and the counter. I think let's worry about that when we get there. But part of what I love is that coming out onto the porch. Any kind of extra plumbing yeah, or anything? Yeah, I don't think that matters since everything goes under anyways. Now in tomorrow's video, we're gonna share with you our new shed to house layout design. And we're finally gonna tell you who we have decided to go with that is going to build our new house. Shed to House. Hey, and actually, if you haven't joined the Shed to House Facebook group, I'm gonna put a link down below. Go join there. There's like 58,000 people, and we're gonna be sharing a lot of our progress there in that group. We'll do, of course, everything here in YouTube, but it'll just be a little bit different because we can actually ask questions there from people that are actually doing it. So if you wanna be debt-free, time freedom, and you're interested in lowering your mortgage, lowering your living costs, and you're open to doing some kind of tiny house shed to house conversion, go join that Facebook group. Also, there's a lot of just cool people there that also want a homestead. You wanna see how I clean my gutters to get the house ready to sell? The Ego 56 volt battery lower. Two things. One, this is awesome for clearing your gutters and anything else that you need to blow. Two, I can't hear right now. I should have worn hearing protection. And then this is the next morning before the home inspector comes. All right guys, so I have been up since four o'clock this morning to clean our house in order to get it ready 
for inspection. Of course, this is the third time that we've done this and we haven't gotten really past this point. <sighs> the tip that we do for trying to get ready to show a house and for like inspection is just get you some bins. It's good to have bins that you can just throw stuff in because there's no way you're ever gonna clean up everything whenever you have kids. So it's really good to have those bins just so you can throw stuff in it and then hit the road. You think we're ready? You guys excited? Yeah, why are you videoing? Because I always video. No you don't. I don't? You don't video at breakfast. Do you want me to? Uh, yeah. Wait, do you want to try my peanut butter kind and I'll try yours? Oh, I see the chocolate chips. Do you see these chocolate chips? Yeah. That is so good. Yeah, I'm going to try this every day. Try every Two days later. What have we found out as of? Nothing, late? just that we're not done with the option period, but we haven't settled on the number. So sitting here and just waiting is... So we just got off the phone with our realtor. We got through the inspection. Well, we had the inspection and now they're wanting to do a foundation inspection. Awesome. This is the first time we've had a foundation inspector. Uh, in other news, um, I put a shirt on so that I could do this video. Business up top and party underneath. This is when it hit us. So the buyers asked to get a foundation inspection, which is totally fine. They have the right to do it. We've never had anybody asked for a, a foundation inspector to come, so we're excited to see what they said. But after that, more negotiations came. So one thing to be able to share with you is that whenever you're selling a house, it can get very emotional. It, you can get really angry. That's me. I am a passionate guy and I got very ticked off. Some of you might know that, you know, because I, I message you that, that are close here in this community, uh, that this was, this was a hard, hard weekend for us. They wanted more than we were willing to give, and we even said, this is our bottom line, we're not going past this, and they kept on pushing that. And then it was, I think, Friday night, they said they're terminating the contract. And so that meant that we were gonna need to get the house ready to put back on the market. So the buyers, they had their inspection. The foundation inspector came and said that it all went good. And hi, um, we are gonna be going back on the market again for the fourth time. Chasing the dirt. We negotiated down to a number to where we said, this is our bottom line. We can't go any lower than this. And they accepted, and we said, we're not gonna negotiate after inspections. I know, I'm mad too. I'm glad that you can laugh about it. <sighs> but we have entire summer, so hopefully it's gonna happen. Then 24 hours later. Okay, so how do you feel about has happened relieved. in the last 24 hours? Is that fair to say of that? Of course, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be dramatic. In the last 24 hours, uh, we have, our realtor has told us that the buyer is going to be terminating the contract because they want repairs that we're, we've already told them we're not gonna that do. That we should expect. Yes, and uh, then she left the country. And so we got, uh, we knew about the possible, we knew this was happening. The good thing is this other realtor, um, her partner, yeah, is, is a little stronger. Uh, her business partner is a little stronger, and in terms of in terms of n negotiation, and not quite as sweet as our realtor. So we it's just it's just part of the process of 
of negotiation and this is our first house that we've ever had to sell and now of course this is the third time we've ever done this so you would on think this on this house so you think that we would have learned by now I think really what is the hardest thing is we're totally fine there's a fine line of negotiation and trying to get a house as cheap as you can we want to make as much money as we can and they want to save as much money but we both have to have that fine line of not getting greedy and that's that's it that's that where we didn't get greedy that, that we don't want that we, yeah that we don't want to be greedy and we don't want them to act greedy because i think they were they were all, they were acting greedy they were like trying to get every single last penny it was like we sent out every inspector and we realized we have no negotiating here left because there aren't any little like $200, $500 fixes that we can negotiate here and there. So they got down to like, hey, how about this crazy fix that what? would take $3,000 off the price. That's, that's, why they're, that's why I say they were trying to agree. Completely bananas. And so they backed off and they signed the contract. 24 hours later, that morning, they signed the contract and it is done. Our house is sold, you guys. So May 31st, it's on the calendar. That is when our closing date is. We are in the thick of packing now. The move, we actually got a storage unit that we're loading stuff in. We have so much packing and downsizing to do, but guys, I am just as excited as can be. Finley, aren't you so excited? Aren't you so excited? Yeah, yeah. We are going to finally be moving onto our property. Oh my, wow, wow, wow. So, uh, if you haven't, please subscribe so that you don't miss anything. Hit the little bell icon so that it's notified. And then go down to the link and join the Shed to House Facebook group. We're moving to the country. We're gonna eat a lot of pomegranates. I like peaches too. We're definitely gonna have some peach trees too.